Hey everyone, it's Claudia Ann here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing this makeup look that you see here featuring this eye look and of course the star of the show is on my lips. Today I'm using the Pat McGrath Lust 004 and I know you guys absolutely know exactly what this is. You've seen it all over Instagram, all over Facebook, all over Twitter, everywhere because this is like the most viral lip product on the market right now like sweeps all of them under the rug so yeah if you're interested in how to create this look keep on watching so for the sake of time i've already applied my primers and foundation which are these bad boys here and now we're going to get into highlighting and contouring so to highlight i'm going to use my nars radiant creamy concealer in the color caramel If you guys haven't figured out that I'm kind of crazy already, then that's a good thing. But soon enough, we'll figure it out. <laughs> And we're just going to blend it in with a dry beauty blender. Next, I'm going to set all that with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Bake, bake, bake. Bake, bake, bake. Bake your face, girl. Ooh, bake your face, girl. That's this for a little bit. I'm gonna highlight with my NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. And I'm just going to start in the hollow area right on the sideburns and apply most of the color there and then sweep it down because it is a pretty dark color. So we want that gradient effect. And then after you've done that, kind of brush up for a more gradient. Then you know, bronze the rest of the face, and that's fine. You don't want to forget about under here. You've seen my Instagram pictures. You'll see sometimes I have like the craziest like jawline. This is a trick, baby. This is a trick. Then what I'm going to do is take that same powder and I'm going to take the brush, which looks like this, and squeeze it between my two fingers and kind of just come down on either side of my nose and brush back and forth. And the next thing that I'm going to do is remove all this bake because now we're done taking it out of the oven. So for my eyes today, we're going to use the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette, which is absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to bring you guys a little bit closer just so you can see what I'm doing. And the first thing that I'm going to do is prime my lids with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in Enigma. A little bit there. Biome. Then I'm going to take my Sephora number 57 brush, which I kind of flatten a little bit and just... The first color I'm going to take in the palette is called Zulu. I'm going to take that with my Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush and just use it as my transition color right here in the crease area and just blend it out.
The next brush I'm going to take is my Sigma E70, and I'm going to come into the color Ada. Ada, Ada. And I'm going to kind of place it out in my outer crease, outer V area. It's just like nice terracotta, reddish brown. Just blend that bad boy in. The next brush that I'm going to take is just this blending crease brush from Sephora and it's clean and all I'm going to do is just kind of blend everything together. Make it look a little bit smoother. The next brush I'm going to take is this really, really old e.l.f. brush. It's called the Professional Eyeshadow Brush. It's like one e.l.f. used to have these like really, really cheap $1 brushes. I got this like years ago and it works amazing. So what I'm going to do is take my MAC Fix Plus and spray just a little bit. I'm going to come into the color Casablanca, which is a beautiful, shimmery, like... Just wait, golden color. I'm going to literally just pack it on to the inner half or maybe two thirds. Oh, my lid going to go back in with my Sigma E40 tapered blending brush back into that color Ada that I used on the outer portion. I'm going to kind of lightly just like deepen it and then deepen my outer you know V and then bring it a little bit over onto the gold so it creates this like gradient effect if you can see that. I'm just going to blend the two together. That's kind of what we're working with for the lid space. So I'm going to be using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner, and if you saw my ride or die tag, you know exactly how I feel about this one. The next step is to apply some mascara, and of course I'm applying my benefits, they're real. For my lashes, I'm going to apply my newest, newest favorite lashes that I've come across, and it's by this brand called Icona Lashes. I came across them on Instagram, and these lashes guys are so amazing these are the queen of hearts lashes and they look like this um, hopefully you can see them they look well something like this just super beautiful and i'm going to apply these off camera so now that my lashes are on, I'm going to go back into the same palette and take the color Zulu with the Sephora smudge brush, which looks something like this shape-wise. And I'm going to apply that lower lash line. Smoke it out a bit, you know? And then we're going to take that same smudge brush and go into that color Casablanca, the shiny one that we have on our lids and apply it to here. Just 
just like that. So now I'm going to take a really small like concealer type brush and go into the color Gaza. Just decorate my inner corners, you know. What's that? And that's pretty much what we have going on for the eyes today. So the next thing I'm going to do is take my NARS Taj Mahal blush and just apply it right on top of where I apply the contour. Well, it might be a little too much, but you know what? I don't think there's such a thing as too much blush. Not when it's NARS Taj Mahal. And the next thing I'm going to do is take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in that glow. And I'm going to go into the color Golden Bronze with my Sephora Fan Brush. And just disrespect all of you with this glow. Don't be afraid to glow, guys. Like, your highlighter should be as bright as your future, to be honest with you. If your highlighter isn't as bright as your future, then that says something about how you feel about your future. You guys have probably been sitting here watching this and being like, is she crazy? Is she just not going to do her brows? Of course I am. I like to do my brows absolutely last. And of course I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in chocolate with my Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 brush. And it just has the spoolie on one end and the, um, you know, the brow angled brush thingy on the other end. And I know, they look crazy right now, but just trust me, just trust me. So what I do to clean them up is take my Sigma E65 angled brush and I take some of the LA Girl concealer in the color Toffee and I get some right on the brush like that and I clean. And that is how the brows look. As you guys know, the star of the show today is the Pat McGrath Lust 004. And I'm using the Blood Wine version. And we're just going to make some magic with this because I'm really excited. So the first step is I'm going to take the Blood Number 2 lipstick, which is a matte lipstick, and just kind of put that all over my lips first. Woohoo! It's creamy. So first impression, it's really, really creamy. I like it. The next step is to take the clear vinyl gloss that it came with 
And I'm just gonna take it on the tip of my finger, just like that. Ooh, it's very, <laughs> a little bit goes a long way, guys. Long, ooh, that looks sexy. I think I would wear this out like this, even though I'm not a huge glossy lip girl, but for this, this little uh, gloss pat put in here, girl, you did that, yeah. And the next step would be to take this microfine glitter. It's a red glitter. It's got a safety seal. So we're gonna handle that and I'll be right back. So I've realized that you can't really use that top part it comes in because the glitter just doesn't come out. So you have to take it all the way out. And I don't know if you guys can see this. It's like a very duo chromey red. I'm trying my best not to spill it, but it's super, super pretty. And I'm going to take it with this random concealer brush that I have an attempt just get it all over my lips Ooh, girl. Hmm. Yes. First things first, it is absolutely gorgeous. It also is very messy. Um, there is glitter all over my pants. There is glitter all over my compact mirror. There is glitter all in my mouth. Yep. Well, not really in my mouth, but. It's so beautiful, guys. What do you guys think? I think it's very pretty. Um, would I recommend buying it? I don't know, it's $60, so it is a little expensive. Like, you can create this at home. Um, if you go to a glitter store and get a nice glitter or buy it on eBay or Amazon, I know they have some nice fine glitters that are kind of like this, but I do like it. The reason why I would recommend buying it is because of that clear gloss that it comes with, that stuff, amazing. Um, but you can use any you know creamy matte lipstick you have and glitter um, to do this look. So I don't know if it's super, super, super like revolutionary. But listen, it's Pat McGrath. Of course it's revolutionary. So I absolutely love it. I don't regret getting this.